Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Gina, Crafty Grandma Gina. Thanks for coming and stopping by. I am going to tell you what I've been working on and uh, show you my one finished object that I have. And it's not even quite finished because it still needs a button. Oh, now I covered up my notes. Yes, I wrote notes on some of it. <laughs> So I made a little baby dress for the bottle on. I made it out of Thunderbird Mandela. I did have to cut it because a blue color came in right here and I didn't like it with it. So I color controlled out the blue and then put this brown color in. It This is, um, and I left the sleeves off the pattern. There was sleeves on it. It is Bod's. Bag of Day Crystals pattern number 363. It's called the Little Sprout. And it is shown in her um, videos as a little green dress with some puffy hand puffy handles. Some puffy sleeves. <laughs> so that's um, my first thing that I've been doing. And um, oh, this looks really bad. <laughs> it's been laying around for a couple a week or so. Um, here's the pom-pom for my spinner that's by um, Ophelia Talks, and I used Hobby Lobby, oh, the one that comes in the cake. So, here is my spinner. I used a gray and a blue. Here's the blue. You can see it better this way. And so I need to put those together, but I'm calling it a finished object because I just need to stick it together. And then I'm going to hang it in my new space that I've been working on and taking up a lot of my time. So I don't have very many finished objects, but I do have a, quite a few works in progress and um, you'll see more of them as we go. I do have a an acquisition that I got and um, it's also a work includes a work in progress so I bought uh, this book because my son my grandson loves Pokemon so and I did start one I have all the pieces together for the or made for the Snorlax I just need to put his little face on and all the fingernails and they're made in a kind of funny way so, I this is my first amigurumi. So it's uh, interesting. <laughs> I did um, have the right colors here. Um, after looking in uh, through all my yarn, I did find an old red heart that uh, it's so old. Um, it doesn't even have the um, yardage on it. It only has the ounces and grams. So, and it's just called teal. So that's what color I used for his body. And then I got some red heart scraps and stuff that I'm using for the rest of him. And so this is how far he is. <laughs> He's got his body and his little um, face on, or his whatever you call that cover up spot. And then he, I have two of these little feet, two of these little ears, and two of his little arms. This is where I need to put the claws on and then a couple on his feet. Then I got to put his teeth and his face on and he'll be good to go. And my grandson can have him to sleep with or cuddle with or whatever. My grandson is 13. I mean, so he probably won't be dragging it around a lot. It'll probably sit in his room a lot. And then let's get rid of this one. Put it over on my cart. And then I'm working on in Zoom, Laura had these two cakes <clears throat> of um, Mandela Valkyrie that she was trying to find something to do with. Well, I also had Valkyrie Mandalas, but I have four. <laughs> and so we decided to do the Spin Me Around by Catherine Bly. And um, here's what it looks like. And so Laura and I started it, and then we got uh, Elaine and uh, Judy and um, 
just a bunch of us <laughs> are now doing it. And um, I, I was like 12 or 14 rows in, 15 rows in. And I decided that uh, I have four cakes and Laura only has two. Well, I wanted to use all four of them because I'm not fond of the colors. It's got a lot of yellow and then some green and some like purple and brownie colors. And they're, it's not one of their prettier choices of colors. I'm just going to say that. Um, I do have the other two right here. I'll grab them. Now you can't see on that side. So this is how one of mine started. And this is how the other started. So I grabbed two out of them. And these two are exactly the same as the other two. They both started the same. Just this one has a little more of this brownie purple color in the middle. So I just grabbed a hold of two of them and started making the blanket after I ripped it all out and because I decided I was going to make it for my dog. <clears throat> I have a little shih couple little shih tzus and uh, in my new room that I have, though it's got a cement floor and it's kind of cold and he doesn't like to lay on the floor and feels he always needs to be in my lap. So I uh, started holding two together and I'm making the blanket. And so this is what I have so far. It's about um, half of the first two cakes. So I figure it'll be, it'll be about maybe this much bigger, maybe, maybe a little more. And so that'll be perfect for him to snuggle up on the rug downstairs on the floor. Right now it kind of looks like an eyeball if we hold it way back. Because the color changed. Oh, I got to hold it right here. Then it kind of looks like an eyeball because there's the color change makes it look oblong. <laughs> so, and that's what it looks like. So I uh, am working on that. And I only, we started it Wednesday, I think. Um, so Wednesday evening, like seven, eight o'clock, we started that. And so I'm working on that. And then... I'm working on a uh, the a new kit, I think it's called. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. From Expression Fiber Arts, and um, I'm using my Bunny Craft Oxford yarn from June and July, and I'm using my Yarnable box um, from August. They're both DK. They're all DK weight, and. Um, my yarnable box, this is, oops, it's coming undone. This is how it caked up. And uh, where's the other one? This is how much I have of my June um, Bunny Oxford box. And I'm this far on my July. It's uh, getting done. <laughs> and I had two of these and only one of each of those. This orangish colorway is called Sweet and Sour. And the Bunny Oxfords don't have colors. But I love that box. She saturates it so nice. And it's so pretty. Oh, let me pull it out of this one. And so I started doing this. Oops. Um, a couple weeks ago. I made a little mistake. I need to go back and tink. A row so I got I put it in timeout for a few days and I started it out with um, you um, you blend it so hopefully I got the right side and I have all the ends are still hanging there so it starts out down at the very tip down there and it has this jagged edge that kind of looks like flames that I thought it worked so good and then you start um, blending in the light pink and then you drop the orange and then you start blending in the darker pink and I'm to the spot about where I start picking up the or putting the orange and start blending the orange back in and then switch back to the orange only and so I got that much done <laughs> I'm about halfway give or take um, through the pattern but I'm going to keep going until I am almost out of these four cakes of yarn. And I think they're about 250 yards each. 
Uh, let's see. 246. And I think the others are 220. And so that's what I've been working on. I uh, also been working downstairs because um, there's not room in my bedroom up here for all my yarn. And I, my son said, well, take over that room downstairs and put it all in. So when I went this summer, <laughs> I hit the Hobby Lobby clearance and I got brought home a bunch more yarn. And um, I went to Michigan and I brought home more yarn from my house in Michigan. And uh, I won a couple giveaways and so I have quite a bit of yarn. I did bring some fabric and stuff from home in Michigan when I was there and um, I've been working really hard to set up the room downstairs I'll be doing a reveal um, I should have done a, I could have done uh, setting it up but I just wanted to get it done and I didn't want to mess with the camera and all that so um, we will be doing a craft room tour and I'll show you how it looks and then um, I'll be doing some more videos from down there after I reveal it I do have a little tiny clip that I'll be putting at the beginning of my reveal video of what it looked like before I started because it was Seahawk colors and it was my grandson's old bedroom and he moved upstairs with the rest of us when space became available <laughs> let's put it that way so I took over his room I painted it all white and then I've been setting it up um, and I'm hoping to get it so that I can reveal it possibly not next week but the week after or the first of October so we'll see how that goes and um, I have my sew machine there, I have my, my Cricut and my press and my printers will all be down there. I'm still trying to get them all moved down there because they're all still here. And my computer's set up and make sure the internet's working good so I can use the internet down there because the wi is way up here. And um, the cell service doesn't work very good down there <laughs> so my tablet is cell service and that's how I um, upload and download or upload my videos so I kind of want uh, to see if we can get hardwired all right I think that is all I have right now um, I can't think that there's anything else so thank you all for watching and taking some time out of your day to spend it with me. I appreciate it. If you could please like and subscribe if you're not already. Thank you to everyone who is subscribed. And uh, I really do appreciate it. And everyone that takes their time to watch me, I really do appreciate it. I hope you all have a great day and a great weekend. And I'll see you next time. Bye.